Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about non-zero winding number rule, a tutorial by QuickCS. So guys, this is a topic which is not explained properly by many YouTube videos online. You won't find the proper solution even in the textbook. So I'll be explaining how this technique works in step by step. So let's get started. In non-zero winding number method, we need to know the direction of each edge in the polygon that is whether the edge is clockwise or counterclockwise the winding number is a number of times the polygon edges wind around a particular point in the counterclockwise direction so that is the definition of winding number how to apply this rule to apply non zero winding number rule first we keep the initial value of winding number is equal to 0 second step then we imagine drawing a line from point p to outside the polygon which does not pass through any vertex okay simple enough we just imagine drawing a line from point p to the outside of the polygon which does not does not pass through any vertex okay third step now we add one add one to the winding number every time we intersect a polygon edge that crosses the line from right to left okay for right to left we add one and we subtract one every time we intersect an edge that crosses from left to right now you'll be confused what is this right to left and left to right and many teachers will just tell you that this is right to left and left to right but they won't explain you what is this right to left and left to right so we'll understand this with the help of an example okay so non-zero winding number you'll just remember this what does this number means the interior points are that have a non-zero value for the winding number okay so what are interior regions or interior points that have a non-zero value okay non-zero means it is not zero it can be negative it can be positive and exterior points are those whose value of winding number is zero so for exterior points the value of winding number is always zero okay so we'll take a look at an example and you'll understand it better okay so just remember this left to right means clockwise okay for left to right or clockwise what we do we do subtract one or minus one for right to left that is counterclockwise we do plus one okay counterclockwise is right to left and the initial value of winding number as we have seen it is zero okay so let's say we'll take a look at this region okay now this left to right and right to left is basically let's say we are taking a point p over here okay and drawing a line this side now when you take a point p over here and drawing a line this side when you stand let's say you stand at that point and you're looking towards the region where you are drawing the line so you are looking at this side of the line and you are standing at that point so for you this side is your right side this side is your left side okay so when you say the edge is going from your right hand side to the left hand side that's what it means it is going from your right hand side to your left hand side for your perspective when you are standing at that point p okay so that's what right to left means and left to right means when you are standing at this point and this edge as you can see is going from your left hand side when you're looking at that way from your left hand side to the right hand side okay so that is left to right okay so now we'll count let's say initial value is zero for this point yes now you are looking in this way this edge is crossing the line from your right hand side to your left hand side for right to left what you do you do plus one so now the value is plus one now you encounter next edge this edge is going from your left hand side to your right hand side what do you do for that you do minus one plus one minus one the final answer is zero so when the answer is zero what does that mean it means that the point is in the exterior now we'll try it for this area okay let's say point p is over here and you're drawing a line okay outside now from here this is your left hand side this is your right hand side yes now in which way the edge is going it is going from your left hand side to your right hand side yes and for that you do minus one minus one is a non-zero number and non-zero number means it is an interior region you can also look at it this way clockwise means the way the clock works that is this side this is the direction of clock okay what is counterclockwise counterclockwise means this direction okay it's going in this way so for example this edge is going in counterclockwise direction this edge is going in counterclockwise direction you can see that way yeah okay so that is counterclockwise that is from right to left okay now we'll try another one let's say this one okay this region so you take a point p over here and draw a line outside okay 
now this is your left hand side this is your right hand side okay and how is the edge passing or crossing the line it is coming from your right hand side to your left hand side so the, it is plus 1 or counter clockwise so you do plus 1 now what is the value of the winding number it is plus 1 and what does that tell you plus 1 is a non zero number yes so non zero number means it's an interior region so this is what non zero winding number rule means this is how it works okay so and it is only applicable only when the direction of the edges is given to you all right so that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching this video guys if you like this video please like and share this video with your friends Sub subscribe to our channel thank you